2006 was the deadliest year on record for Canadian troops serving in Afghanistan. Sacrifice soon had names and faces, as soldier after fallen soldier made the infamous journey down the highway of heroes. And that summer was especially fatal. Five years into the combat mission, NATO forces had learned the Taliban's activity increases dramatically in warmer temperatures. Fast forward to July 8th, 2006. We were doing an advanced contact, so we were pushing through, just sweeping for any enemies, anything we could find, right? Um, so you were looking for the enemy, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, we came under contact from one side, it was an ambush, firefight for about 10, 15 minutes before I got injured. He took a bullet to the neck and doesn't remember much after the attack. Airlifted to a hospital base in Kandahar, doctors learned the bullet had crushed his spinal cord. Was it all worth it? Oh, absolutely. Yes, absolutely, 100% it was worth it. Uh, freedom isn't free. It really isn't, and uh, you have to be able to be willing to sacrifice for it. What do our veterans need? Support. You know, it's it's not that we were we don't want anything fancy. We're not. It's just support, handshake, and a thank you. Mm -hmm. We want war as much as anyone else does. The only difference is we're willing to put our lives on the line to stop it.